Despite all the heat lately on these really well-priced AliExpress GPUs, I actually still recommend buying them. And no, I have zero connection with this company whatsoever. A couple of weeks ago, I bought four different graphics cards for this project as I wanted to get the full scoop on this Ming Zhao GPU manufacturer that's selling GPUs like the RX 580, RTX 2060 Super, and RTX 3060 Ti at extremely competitive prices. I already did the video for the RX 580 up here, but now I have even more Ming Zhao GPUs to compare, but I also bought more reputable manufacturer models over here. That way we can compare these models head to head and see if these are actually legit. Round one, fight. And real quickly, if you were into figuring out the best GPU deals and really just getting the best bang for your budget PC hardware, then double clutch that like button down below so the YouTube algorithm knows how you roll. Granny shift and not double clutching like you should. And real quickly, at the end of this video, I'm gonna list out who I think is the exact perfect type of person that should be buying these GPUs, and you may actually be one of them, so stay tuned for that. Now, one thing I know you all can benefit from is better cybersecurity, and most of you don't know this, but I actually used to work cybersecurity for the Air Force, so I gotta know what I'm talking about. One of the quickest ways that you can beef up your security is by protecting your passwords and protecting your internet traffic, and today's sponsor, NordVPN, can help with both of those. Link is in the description. NordVPN not only encrypts your traffic, which is perfect when using public Wi-Fi, hotspots, or even at work, but it also allows you to act like you're connected from anywhere in the world with just one click. This allows you to bypass region restrictions when watching content, and it even allows you to save some money when traveling by pretending that you're not actually a Taurus. And as far as passwords go, NordPass has you covered for that. This allows you to easily generate complex passwords for every website you visit. And the best part is that it'll autofill that password everywhere you go, so it literally couldn't be easier. Please take your cybersecurity seriously. Attackers are specifically targeting people that completely neglect their online security, and software like NordVPN and NordPass will set you above those people. Check out the link in the description to get an exclusive deal, and that includes a risk-free 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. The very first thing I want to jump into here is knocking out the benchmarks, and I usually save these for last, but I think it's important that you see the data here first before your negative bias comes into play and start crying because you heard some people quickly talk about these knockoff GPUs and you think you're an expert now. Man, you really gotta check that emotion. And yes, I've seen the Gamers Nexus and other YouTube videos about these AliExpress GPUs, and we're gonna fully dive into that, but let's check out the raw data here first, that way we're all on the same page. And if you're just the type of person that's trying to come in here without an open mind and just want to be negative, then just get out right now. The GPUs that we'll be testing specifically are the Ming Zhao RTX 2060 Super, which was priced at $179 when I bought it, and also the Ming Zhao RTX 3060 Ti 8GB, which was at $329. For our control group, I also have an EVGA RTX 2060 Super and an Asus Tough RTX 3060 Ti. And without further ado, here's our first set of data comparing the Ming Zhao RTX 2060 Super with our EVGA model. I'm not gonna run through these individually because you can probably already see what I'm getting at here. Every single one of these results or within a margin of error, and feel free to give us a little bit bigger of a margin compared to dedicated testing facilities. Remember that the ZTT operation here isn't extremely sophisticated. All we did was run these GPUs about two to three times in the same route and then recorded the average FPS. We didn't take every single card and benchmark them like 10 times or anything. Games like Fortnite are really hard to test consistently, so you can see here that the Ming Zhao got 14 FPS better, but still pretty similar. But across the board, these GPUs performed functionally the exact same. We're off to a good start. Moving on to the RTX 3060 Ti, here's the results for that. Here you can see that both 3D Marks Time Spy and Firestrike got within 100 to 150 points of each other, and every game except Fortnite and GTA 5 are pretty much exactly the same. Again, our relaxed benchmarking processes aren't the most consistent thing in the world, but I think the point is made that these AliExpress GPUs perform exactly the same as their more reputable brand counterparts. So now that we can accept that, let's move on to pricing and talk about if it actually makes sense to purchase these as an average consumer and then after that, we'll talk about the possibly shady business practices that this brand is doing. I already mentioned that I bought my Ming Zhao 2060 Super for $179 and the RTX 3060 Ti for $329. And at the time of producing this video, the 2060 Super has gone up a few bucks to $186 and the 3060 Ti actually went down a bit to $315. But now let's take a look at the pricing of the more reputable brands and we're gonna look at both new and used pricing to get the full picture here. Starting with the 2060 Super, this card really isn't so brand new anymore and the cheapest one that I could find was this MSI Ventus model for $400. Please don't pay that kind of money. 
money for a 2060 Super, by the way. Don't you dare! Over on the used market, though, I took the average of the last 20 eBay completed sales, and the average price of used RTX 2060 Supers is $206. And yes, I only included successfully sold listings with a model that was in full working condition. Although not huge, this $206 average price is $27 more expensive than what I pay for the AliExpress GPU. Keep that number in the back of your mind. Switching over to the RTX 3060 Ti, remember I paid $329 for mine and now it's at $315. Here for new 3060 Ti's, the absolute cheapest model that I could find on the internet was this Asus Duel for $460. And over on the used marketplace, the average price was at $368. This is $39 cheaper than what I paid and $53 cheaper than the current price on AliExpress right now. But there is one more piece to this pricing puzzle that I really want to emphasize first. If you compare the data of used GPUs with these Ming Zhao prices, on average, the price differences aren't extremely high, just $27 and $39. However, if you've ever hunted for used PC hardware deals before, then you'll probably already know that getting those prices isn't the easiest thing to do in the world, unless if you're like a true PC flipper that's 100% in tune with the market. The average prices that you see on eBay don't paint the full story about how someone won a three hour bidding war, discovered the good deal in the first place, or even how much they had to pay for shipping. Some of these eBay sellers make the price of the product seem attractive, but then charge $20 to $30 to ship it for an extra boost in profit when it only actually costs $10 to ship it. I didn't include shipping into the eBay average price for this reason. If you take a look on eBay buy it now prices, like literally right now, or at least the time I'm recording this video, you'll see that the prices are a bit all over the place, especially with those extra shipping charges, and it's just not a guarantee that you'll score one at the prices that I listed earlier. Earlier. On the flip side, with these AliExpress GPUs, the price is the price. You can literally buy it right now, there's no extra charge, and shipping was even free, at least to me here in the United States. But now that we're all settled on price, Let's talk about the more controversial stuff. A few weeks ago, Gamers Nexus really opened up most of our eyes into the possibly shady business practices that some third-party AliExpress manufacturers are doing with GPUs. I'll have the full video linked in the upper right, which I definitely recommend watching, but basically in a nutshell, some other YouTubers did some real deep dives and discovered that these quote-unquote new GPUs were actually using potentially used GPU dyes, and then parts around them like the cooler and shroud were brand new. This gives off the appearance that this is a brand new GPU, but under the hood could be a GPU die that's been mined and mined on for years now. In the video, there was no mention of this specific Ming Zhao brand, but that's not a full indicator that we're 100% in the clear. The dies in these cards very well could be used, so that's something to consider if you're debating about buying them. Now, on the flip side, I really appreciate how Gamers Nexus also included the e-waste argument because I actually think that's a pretty solid take. On one hand, it is awesome to get reuse out of something that is otherwise just e-waste. What's not cool is lying about it. It's actually great that a company isn't letting these old GPU dies that aren't selling anymore just go to waste or a landfill. It's actually great that they're repurposing them into a very capable and viable product to resell back on the market. The fact that these companies aren't disclosing that information could definitely be an issue though, but again, we're not 100% on this brand specifically. But either way, no matter if the GPU die in here is new or used, there are several advantages that are worth listing out here. First, the pricing. It's cheaper on average compared to more rapid reputable counterparts, and if you're strictly interested in the highest possible price to performance, this is actually a dub. Secondly is availability. You can purchase these cards literally right now for the listed price. You don't have to wait on a bidding war or for someone to leave their mom's basement to go outside and ship the card. This is an actual company shipping the cards nice and quickly. Now, you do have to wait for the standard two to three week shipping time from AliExpress, at least here to the United States. But again, I didn't have to pay anything extra for that, which is awesome. And finally, the third benefit is support and some type of warranty. When buying on AliExpress, you do have the ability to submit for a refund if something doesn't work. And from what I've seen, this company is very responsive when it comes to their customers. And although I haven't had to try it for myself, I'm getting the impression that they are engaged and properly running their customer support like they should be. This isn't something that you'll always get when buying a local GPU, for example. With all that information, I think the most important question to ask now is who exactly should be buying these GPUs? And I actually think it'll be easier to start in reverse order and talk about who shouldn't buy these GPUs. If you're the type of gamer who isn't a hard core PC enthusiast and only wants to build a gaming PC once every five to seven years, then I probably would not recommend a GPU like this. Spend the extra money now and get a brand new GPU from a manufacturer and store that you trust in. That'll be worth it in the long run for someone like you. And for my PC flippers out there, I know we're the type of people who love finding good deals like this, but honestly, I don't think that you should be selling these to people who don't really understand what the risks of a GPU like this are. First of all, listing out Ming Zhao in your parts list is probably going to raise 
raise some eyebrows to begin with. And then if the person does do like 60 seconds worth of research, they'll quickly determine that they probably do not want to buy something like that. And it definitely wouldn't be realistic for you to explain to a potential buyer that this could or could not be a used or new GPU. It may be a knockoff. Who knows? That's not actually what you're going to do. But now for those of you that are actively involved in this PC building universe, and you're the type of person that seeks out the absolute best price performance in your budget to mid range gaming PCs, you don't mind to tinker a little bit and your gaming PC is ride or die, then this could be a good option for you. Ride or die. There's a lot of people in the ZTT Discord community, which is linked down below, by the way, that only care about price to performance. And some of them just don't have a ton of money to spend on a gaming PC. So being able to save a few bucks on cards like this might actually be a viable option. Also bonus points, because we actually haven't talked about how good the aesthetics are on these cards as well with their very clean all black side profiles. So if you're trying to build your own aesthetics on a budget build and you know what you're doing, a card like this should be perfectly fine. Either way, let me know what you think of these cards down in the comment section below and feel free to check out this video here next.